Hello and welcome to Shinigami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. We're just going to call it SMT3 from now on. SMT3 is like the edgy older brother of Persona. Um, it was the series which Persona was originally spun off from and I'm interested to go back and see what this one's like because I've heard it's a little bit more bleak, it's a little bit more uh, combat orientated so it could be a little, it could be cool to see a different uh, spin on the same formula that we've seen a couple of times. Now, um, there is a sequel to this game coming out later this year and it is my intention that if we like it, we're going to go and play the sequel. Well, when I say sequel, it's the fifth game in the series and this is the third, but I've heard that there are a lot more links to this game in the trailers than there were to the fourth game, which I don't know was whether it was received well from my understanding, but anyway, it's all aside. So, we're going to jump into this. Uh, but before we can even start the game, you'll see that we have three new game options to choose from and you might be a little bit confused as to why that is. So, new game is the base game without anything else and I believe this is how the game was originally released um, back when they originally released, I think it was 2003. Then you'll see we have New Game Chronicle. Now, I believe that this one is actually new for the remaster. I might have got that one wrong. But basically, this adds in a new character and bonus content. Maniacs is the, I believe, the original content that you got with the first re-release of the game. However, it's the same content as in Chronicle. The difference between these two games is there is a character in Maniacs which is not in Chronicle, because it's licensed. It's Dante from the Devil May Cry series. So that's why there are three new game options. It's do you want to play new game? Do you want to play Chronicle, which is a free DLC uh, with the remaster? Or do you want to play Maniacs, which is included in the deluxe edition, or is an additional DLC on top because they had to relicense the character? We're going to play Maniacs because to me, that seems like it's the it's the remastered version that they were aiming for, if it's the one that has the licensed one that was originally in the first remaster of the game that added in some bonus content, this seems like the right option, or the first re-release of the game I should say. It's a little bit weird, but that's why I'm going with it. Right, so, now we have to choose our difficulty. Now, the difficulties in this game basically just change the damage levels, which I'm kind of happy with. That's, like, that's its main difference. Uh, Merciful is very easy, and it gives you a lot more loot, and kind of takes out any grinding the game has at all. Normal is just, it's the baseline everything else is measured off of, which is apparently still reasonably difficult, but I want to play on hard, because I like a little bit of a challenge. A level of difficulty suitable for those seeking the thrill of death. Now, what does hard mode do? It uh, increases the damage from enemies by two, uh, uh, sorry, by times two, so it doubles it to say it in a normal way. Uh, enemies target the party's weaknesses more often, escaping from battle is nearly impossible. Ambushes slash back attack rates are much higher, damage from floor traps and poison are tripled, and item prices in the junk shop are tripled. However, if we click on it, there's also no reward for doing the hard mode, it's just purely a challenge thing. If we click on it here, you'll see that we can change the difficulty at any time, so there's absolutely no reason not to start off on the hard mode and see whether we like it. Um, one of the other things though, is if we ever have to grind, we can change the difficulty from any time, and I believe that this is new in the remaster, being able to change your difficulty at any time in the game. So. If we need to grind, we can maybe stick it down to Merciful, get the extra loot levels and just grind off camera and then come back to hard for um, the actual gameplay. But my intention is to stick on hard for the whole time because I've heard that you don't need to do that much grinding in the game. Also, just based on my persona knowledge, the guy on the right here looks an awful lot like Igor. I mean, he doesn't quite have the nose, but he's very similar to that character along with the attendant. So I'm wondering whether that's this game's equivalent. Anyway, we're going to jump in. A world that loses its power will fade into nothing. If such is the fate of this world, then I shall return it to its mother's womb. The world must first die for it to be born again. This is the path to salvation, as foretold in an ancient prophecy.
The world will fall for its sins, and everyone living will vanish. That sounds pretty bad. But I won't let you meet the same fate. I want to help you hold on to your life. I agree. We're in total agreement here. To do so, I need to know your name. Will you tell me who you are? I suppose I could do that. So, uh, in terms of the name here, uh, what I will say is that it does it in the Japanese way, where it's family then given name. So, um, yeah, just in case you want it to be read out in the way that you'd expect it, do your name in that way. So we're going to be uh, Zapla. And then uh, you have to scroll along here. And then we're going to be Alpex. We'll continue our naming convention from Persona, which is very, very creative and obviously took a long time to think up. Cool. However, this game does have something else with its naming. We can put in a nickname. So I'm going to be Al for this one. Just to, again, be a little bit different. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. That's right. As of now, your will to live shall sustain you. Believe in it and survive. Hmm. I don't understand. You may not understand right now, but please don't forget what I've told you. I am the nurturer of the next world. The template for our future rests within my hands. Now, I want you to say my name aloud. Uh, alright. Um, but I don't know what your name is. Oh, there it is. It's Yuko Takoi. Yeah, okay. We'll stick with that one. That's right. I should mention that this game is going to do what a lot of other games from the period did, where it just kind of doesn't voice act your name. Um, I believe this is because the voice acting was added in later, so it made a lot more sense for you to be able to name your characters when there wasn't any voice acting in the game. But because there is now voice acting, uh, they didn't remove the ability for you to name your characters, they just use other phrases instead. So there's a lot of this guy, my friend, she, he, you know, a lot of that kind of language. No, I won't shed another tear, not even at this world's end. Instead, I can invite you to the world that is to come. Now go ahead, wake up. The time is here. received a message. Your late Alpex was the big idea. You forget we're visiting Miss Takoi today. Ah, uh, just get to your Yogi Park ASAP. Time's a wasting. It's from your classmate. Please enter your classmate's name. Oh sure, I'll just enter it right here. Oh yeah, it's Isamu Nita. Yeah, sounds great. Real talk, I'd prefer more of a private counselling scenario, but Mr. Koei is a lot nicer when you're around. Alright, be sure to dress to impress. After all, you represent me by way of association. How about that slick jacket you bought the other day, the one with the little demon sprites? Remember, you're just the mood maker. Don't get it twisted, okay? Alright then. So is this the jacket that we were told to wear? I'm just trying to get a better angle of it. Yeah, it does have little demon sprites on the on the edge of it. That's kind of cool. Hello. Who are you? Uh, let me guess. You're here for your Yogi Park? Ever since that instant went down, it's been one looky loo after another. No one's here for the train. Uh, as you can probably tell, I've had a lot of time on my hands. You've um heard the news, right? No. I guess I ought to inform you. 
Uh, there was a deadly riot at Yogi Park yesterday. Uh, if you want the gory details, go check the giant screen at Shibuya. Long story short, a couple of folks lost their lives in that park. Uh, you could hear the sirens wailing all night long. Anyway, sorry to talk your ear off. Probably not something I should be doing on the job. <laughs> oh well, you know, it was very useful actually. Thank you very much. Can't go that way. Well, might as well leave the station. And now we're going to get to something a little bit weird. So you know in Persona 5 how you can wander around Tokyo. You can do the same here, except um, just cosplaying as an MSN messenger uh, icon. Yeah, we're the blue one. So yeah, you can kind of wander around and all of the green ones are uh, people we can talk to. So let's start with this guy. Uh, due to investigation, the entrances to Yoyoki Park have been closed off. Uh, we appreciate your cooperation. All right. No one is here. Well, guess he must be at the other entrance to the park. Uh, we can also go back into the station if we want to, but we're not going to do that right now. We are going to go and have a little talk to all the people around the place. Shabby Vagrant. I've been chased by this wild dream. Hounded, you might say. In my dream, everywhere you look, everything is round. The world itself is round. Ugh, God, dag nab it. I, I know the world is round, but it got round in a different way. I'm telling you, my dream is a prophecy. Ah, and yet no one believes me. All right, I kind of believe you. Can you tell me more? Probably not. Right, let's head over here. I love the way it spins as you, uh, like, just as you sit on the spot here. Hello. Oh, hey, Alpax. You said you were going to visit Miss Takoe today, right? I know she's beautiful, but it doesn't give you license to creep on her, okay? Okay. I wasn't going to. So this is Shibuya. I recognize this one here. Let's see what's going on. The news is showing on the grand video display. By the way, it also says it's Shibuya in the top right, if you don't happen to know Tokyo. And I don't really know Tokyo, I just recognize Shibuya. A riot broke out yesterday at Yoyoki Park regarding the construction of a communication tower. The demonstration got out of hand and there have been several deaths and injuries reported. Furthermore, Hikawa, the top executive of Cyber's Communication, remains missing. Now for the latest in sports, we move over to Manaka. The news continues, so Hikawa is missing. Okay, and Cyber's Communication built the tower. Good to know. Hello. You overhear a conversation between some high school girls. So, don't tell me, I already know. You think Hikawa's super hot, right? Um, ooh, there's like so many nasty rumors about him. I know, to me that only adds to it. He's got intrigue, a whole world of lore built around him. Okay, so they think the CEO was hot. Well, one of them does, anyway. Hello. The Yoyogi Park Riot? Oh, you mean what they're showing on TV? I don't know, it's just, it hardly seems real. Like, how could this be happening here? I'm glad it doesn't involve me. Fair enough. Hello. There's a live report going on. While I do feel the demonstrator's actions were out of line, the fact that Cyber's communication would destroy the park for their own gain is not only inconceivable, it's unforgivable. The reporter's impassioned speech continues. Okay, so the media are firmly against this. Kind of makes me wonder why they were given permission to build it, if they were given permission at all. That's probably something we can look at later. Yeesh, kids these days. Uh, one moment we're suffering fatalities, the next everyone's dressed like it's a goddamn carnival. Take that long-haired yuppie wandering around, for instance. Okay, I assume we'll meet them later. You can overhear a couple's conversation. Did you hear about the riot where three people died? What if we're next? Ah, uh, you don't gotta worry about that, babe. Why? Cause we're about to start our own little riot in the bedroom. Oh, ho. wow, could you be any more predictable? Ha ha ha. But I guess that's what I love about you. All right, we'll leave him to it. Hello. This foreign guy dressed in red passed by not long ago. Oh, of all things, he had a giant sword on his back. A sword! And boy, did he look dangerous. Now, I know I've seen him somewhere before, but where? 
have you ha did you happen to see him in the award-winning Devil May Cry series? Just just saying. Hello. Oh, not again. The hospital up ahead hasn't been open for a while. What's going on? All right. There is a note on the door. The entrance to the annex is closed. Please use the entrance to the main building. Hospital staff. Okay. No one is here. Fair enough. We will come back later. No one's up here? Let's head along this way. Hello. Huh? Being here is starting to depress me. That riot's got everybody all shaken up. You look like a decent enough guy, let's forget all this doom and gloom and go have ourselves some fun. Alright then, everyone here seems to be pretty, um, amped up to say the least. Yo Alpex, what's up? Uh, did you hear the rumour about your Yogi Park? No. I heard on the night of the riot a demon spawned somewhere in the park. And that demon was one, the one behind the killings. Well, it's just a rumour. Okay. So a demon spawned in the park, killed three people, and everyone thinks it was part of a riot? Okay, well, let's go to the park. That'll be our long-haired yuppie. Great. The entire park's closed off. They can't even let a guy in to snap a few photos? <sighs> Guess it's not my lucky day. Huh? You need something, kid? You're a very interesting looking fellow. You look like a magician of some kind. Eh, not in particular. Fair enough. This kind of thing's not your bag, I'll say more power to you. Besides, if I had told you this was a battle between two cults, you'd probably call me nuts. Your cell phone started to ring. Uh, I think that's your phone going off. Oh, yeah, thanks. I didn't notice the ringing sound and the fact that it was on my person. You know, but thanks for letting me know. It was really just using it as a hey, way to end the conversation. Yeah, so you notice there it says, hey, are you, uh, like, it skips your name. It'll do that all the time. Finally, I get a hold of you. What's taking you so long? Please enter your classmate's name. This is Chiaki. Tachibana. I could see if it was our other friend, but you're never late. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Yeah, and they'll do that a lot. They'll say, like, our other friend, and then the actual person will be written below. It's just something to get used to. It's no big deal. Where are you now? Yoyogi Park? Well, since you decided not to show, we had to leave without you. We're almost there now. So, yeah, would you mind coming straight to the hospital? You do know which hospital it is, right? Shinjuku Medical Center. Mm-hmm. I thought it would be that one. It's the only hospital in the area. Also, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, you're our first little Jack Frost. Just go east from Shinjuku Station and keep going. You can't miss it. Hmm. I guess this works out. I was planning to ask our teacher for career advice, so I'll just go ahead of you. Hmm. Is now the right time for that? What? I happen to care about my future, thank you very much. Honestly, it's time you boys started planning ahead too. Anyway, I'd appreciate if you could get a move on. Hope to see you soon. Okay, well, we'll head over there. Hold up. You're on your way to Shinjuku Medical Center? Yes, uh, although why were you listening into my private uh, phone conversation? Hmm. That's also where I'm headed, oddly enough. Go figure. That is odd. Why don't you hang on to this? It's a copy of our upcoming issue. I'm assuming you don't know what went down here. Then, you probably don't know what kind of place that hospital is either. The name's Hijiri, author of The Ring of Gaia and the Scripture of Moroku. Might want to give that a read. Okay, so he's the author of The Ring of Gaia and the Scripture of Moroku, but also he's definitely not a party member because we can't name him. Okay, so Hariji. Got it. Or her, her... It was Hijiri. Anyway, doesn't matter. We got an issue of Ayakashi Monthly. Normally, 
you wouldn't associate a hospital with the occult. You see that little eyebrow and uh, bumpy did there? Was that just my imagination? That hospital is anything but normal. Or so they say. There's a lot of misinformation floating around these days. If it turns out I'm wrong, just laugh it off, okay? Okay. Anyway, I'd better be going. Oh yeah, in the event we run into each other again, let me know how you liked my article. Alright. Um, can I read it in some way? I'm gonna try buttons here for a second. Okay, I've now- oh! I can turn the UI off. That's literally the only button I've found that does anything. Alright then, I guess we'll keep going. I cannot read his article because I have no ability to read an article. No other button does anything. Cool. Right. Uh, let's head over here and in- oh. That isn't an actual path. And into the medical center. We know we can't go in this way because it's shut. Let's go in here. Sinjuku Medical Center. Can I do anything else in here to read it? So I can look at our map, which isn't entirely useful. Uh, do I have any other buttons I can press? Can't open a menu. I can move the camera with uh, LB and RB, but that's again not too useful. I can turn the uh, UI off, which also stops you from moving. So it's kind of like a really bad photo mode, huh? Right. Hello. Well, hey! About time. Um, is it just me, or is something seriously off here? Hmm... There isn't anyone in sight. No nurses, no patients. Look, even the reception desk is empty. Don't you think there's something weird about this place? I sure do. Anyway, you know who is looking for our teacher right now. Mm hmm And big surprise, he's still gone. He'd better not be off goofing around. Oh, what's with that magazine? Um, uh, some guy gave it to me. Oh, yeah, some guy gave it to me. Some stranger gave it to you? Yep. Come on, you should know better than that. Well, is taking magazine like, are you not allowed to take magazines from strangers nowadays? Ayakashi Monthly. Never heard of it before. What? It's an occult magazine? Why would you bring something like that here? I again, it's just paper. <sighs> well, maybe it could help me kill some time. Anyway, can you go find that bonehead? If he can't find our teacher, then I don't want to be here another minute. You should be on the second floor, where the patients' rooms are. I'll be waiting down here. Oh, and leave the mag with me. You're very bossy, aren't you? Don't leave me hanging too long, okay? Alright, well, I'll see you later, Chiaka. Uh, or Chiaki. I'll remember your name eventually. Um, now, I did do a little bit of testing on this game, and this is about as far as I got, but I did find out that there are multiple paths through it. So, there's an elevator here where we can go up and down, but if we want to, uh, I believe, I think it's this way, we can take some stairs. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, we have a closed door. The door will not open. Do you often get hospital doors with bars in front of them? That seems rather odd. There's another one. Are they trying to keep people out or keep people in? Hmm. Oh, also we can kind of see into the car park, which is rather unimpressive. So I believe if I go this way, yeah, we can go up the stairs if we want to. Hmm. Someone is in the other hallway. Huh. So this is interesting. Again, when I did my testing, I went up the other route, and the other route, he was in this hallway. That's kind of intriguing. It's nice that there's like little changes here and there. But yeah. Uh, Jack Frost Coffee. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know whether this is an Easter egg or whether there's actual 
like, knowledge of Jack Frost in the world? You see a vending machine. You have enough change to buy a drink. Will you buy something? Yeah, sure. It seems this drink isn't listed on the machine. You obtained a mysterious drink. Dun dun dun. Can I buy it again? Sold out. What about this one? This one sold out? Yeah, okay. I still have an inventory, so that's not entirely useful to us, but there you go. Oh yeah, also none of these rooms have loot in them. I checked very thoroughly. I don't believe we'll get loot until we actually have, like, you know, the main part of the game. <sighs> oh man, you scared the crap out of me. Why'd you go sneaking up like that? Jeez, you come here late, you cause trouble. You know what? Forget it. Not worth it. Why did our teacher want us to meet them here anyway? I'm sure you've already noticed, but this place has been cleaned out. You think everyone, uh, died off? That's not usually how hospitals work, but okay. I called our teacher to make sure this was it. She clearly told me. Shinjuku Medical Center. Hmm. Something's up. They could have at least put up a notice or something so visitors aren't clueless. Maybe someone unleashed a deadly virus in here. Mm, don't joke about that. <laughs> I've already checked out everywhere she might be. I'm running out of places to look. Think we should just call it? Alright, I'm gonna head back down and check out how our other lady's doing. I bet she's all pissed because I've been gone so long. <sighs> it ain't easy pleasing a princess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I really hope this isn't the shitstorm it's shaping up to be. Yeah, it seems like I'm missing vital information about why we're being why we're meeting here. Like, why he thinks it's gonna be a shitstorm, why he thinks there's been a virus, why he thinks everyone is dead. You know, these aren't normal things to think. So. Yeah, we're mi we're missing some vital information. Oh yeah, the other things thing about the elevator is it's significantly slower than just walking up the stairs. So you know, exercise is good for you, or at least it's slower when you go multiple floors. Anyway, hello. Oh, you're back. So. You know that special report at the beginning of the magazine? Well, it says some things that are more than a little unsettling. According to this, there's a group of demon worshippers who call themselves the Ring of Gaia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is the report that our um, friend wrote. And they're right here in Japan. Apparently, they believe in this book of prophecy called the Scripture of Miroku. In that book, it says that chaos will engulf the world, and these people are trying to cause that somehow. Whether their idea of chaos means terrorism or something else entirely, the reporter couldn't figure that out. But get this. Uh, no luck finding her. I even checked the men's room. Oh, okay. Did you check the woman's room? Ugh, didn't need to know that. We're in the middle of a conversation here, so save those details for later. Now, listen to this part. A hospital on the east side of Shinjuku is closely linked to the organization's sinister plan. Let me guess. That ends with... Find out more in our next issue. Though it wouldn't surprise me if that article had some truth to it. I've heard some real spooky shit about this place. Like how they run deadly experiments on patients. Or how a psychic started shrieking and bolted out of here. And of course, there's a rumor that a cult's behind it all. Mm-hmm. You're serious? Why do I get a feeling he knows more than he's uh, letting on? I never knew any of that. Maybe we really shouldn't have come here. I almost feel stupid for buying into some bizarre tabloid. But it does get one thing right. How creepy this hospital is. 
Mm-hmm. We really need to find her, don't we? Okay. We search this place top to bottom one last time. If nothing pops up, we assume nothing's wrong, and we split. By the way, looks like you can reach the annex from the second floor. I'll go take a look up there. Whereas you have the honor of searching the basement. Oh, and, uh, you'll need this. You obtained an ID card. Where did you get that? You're the one who found the card. Why don't you search the basement? Could it be you're too scared? Come on, this is me we're talking about. The only reason he's going is because I'm sure there's nothing down there. Look, all you need to do is confirm that our teacher isn't in the basement. Got it? Got it. After all, saving the day is my job. Why is it your job? You see, that's the thing, I'm missing some context about this character currently. Should things take a turn for the worse, just run like hell, okay? Okay. <sighs> I can't believe him sometimes. Anyway, let's focus on finding our teacher. No matter what, we have to make sure she's safe. Of course, it could just be bravado and he's like, nah, I need to save the day. But, you know, it's, it, it feels like there's something else going on. Well, we know where the basement is. We know there's no loot anywhere else. Let's go to the basement. And this is the extent to my knowledge. Beyond this, I did not go. So, let's go in. Insert your ID card. I did so. The gate is open. We are in. Can we walk? Not really. It's like you jog or you don't jog. Fair enough. Uh, do we have a map down here? We do not have a map down here. The map button. Oh no, there we go. We do have a map. Okay. And it, it tells us if there are things on there that we need to look out for. Open door. Uh, what is going on here? This is incredibly weird. There's nothing to click on by the looks of it. Wait, if I open the map, it would tell me, right? Yeah. So this is just a weird place. Okay, so they were definitely doing experiments on people. Uh, and they were some sort of cult. Those both seem to line up. You can hear, an, you can hear eerie sounds from the room. Will you enter? Of course, yeah. Why wouldn't I enter? Um... Hello? Who is it? It's Hikawa, the CEO. Who dares disrupt this stillness? Only a lost lamb. A well-known poet once said, April is the cruelest month. Have you any inclination as to why? Because it is then one awakens from a long sleep and faces the barren world. Our history as a species is similarly barren, comprised of empty trivialities. The worthless overgrowth of a civilization blind to its sins, continuous war and bloodshed, and thousands of years of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. The world needs to wipe its slate clean. The way familiar. to salvation was foretold in the scripture of Miroku. And today, that prophecy shall be fulfilled. So he's talking about the same thing that our teacher was talking about in the intro. Okay. The old world will sink like a setting sun. And the new world will arise in its place. Now, how should I deal with you? From what I recall, you weren't among our followers who survived the purge at the park. 
Oh, you're her acquaintance. Come to think of it, this was a hospital, wasn't it? And you merely came to visit her. Was she unwell? However, even a pebble creates ripples when cast in water. And while I do feel pity for you, your life ends here. Oh, that's not good. You take me to the Shadow Realm? Ooh, got a little bit of music in the background. Do not be afraid. All the inhabitants of this world will follow before long. Your time has just come a bit sooner. That's all. Hmm. Face him. You fool. No one can overcome their fate. Stop! Oh? Hmm? Huh? It was a fake choice. What? You can't even let one person go? What effect could he possibly have on our plan? However insignificant he is, I am not a man of exceptions. You know this. Fine. If you don't spare him, then consider our partnership over. <sighs> Such a troublesome maiden. Well, I'll leave the teaching to the teacher. Please leave this room. I would like to enjoy this blissful end in solitude. Okay. I'll be waiting on the roof. We'll have a good view of the city from there. Come, see it with your own eyes. Witness that which will change the world. What are you talking about? All right, back in. The door cannot be opened. Okay, so our teacher is definitely well. She's involved in this whole plot with the CEO of this company. All right, well, interesting. I don't think we have enough to work out anything yet, but it seems like they're all about fulfilling this prophecy of wiping the slate clean. Hmm, okay. So, some sort of morgue. Fair enough. And then in here, I assume we can't go through here. The door is locked from the other side. Ah, so this is somewhere we might come out of later. Fair enough. Right, we'll do our little jog back up then. We found our teacher. That's all we were sent out to do. Someone is up ahead. Wait, no. He was much What's older. What's wrong, my little master? Are you curious about that person over there? Wasn't he much? That's definitely. These are the two from the um, like from the difficulty select screen. But wasn't he much older, or was it just different artwork? Maybe. Oh, is that so? My my. But right now we have other matters to attend to. Let's do that afterward. Oh, the child and the old woman have disappeared. Wondering whether that's maybe young Igor? Because it looks like a similar character to the one in Persona. So I'm assuming there must be some relation. But yeah, I assume it's going to fulfill a similar role in terms of being the person that we go to for our Personas. Uh, send me to the first floor because I want to tell my... Um, yeah, tell my classmates that we found our teacher. She Aki isn't in the lobby. Dun dun dun. Where did she go? I don't. I I actually don't know. So these are still locked. Okay. So our other one went to the said he went to the annex. So let's have a look here. It says he can re you could reach the annex from the second floor. So I assume it means these doors over here? That makes sense. Is he over here somewhere? 
Yeah. Examine. Insert your annex gate pass. I don't have the card. Okay. We will head back then. Well, I must get the card from our teacher. That's the only thing that makes sense here. Oh, this way? Yeah. Don't get lost. Don't get lost. There we go. Alright, send me to the roof. Hello. So, here we are again. Again? We were here before? I'm glad I intervened when I did. I wouldn't want you to fall prey to a demon. You heard what Hikawa said, right? This world is about to be swallowed by chaos. It's called the Conception. The rebirth of the world. An event which no human has ever witnessed. Everyone outside of this hospital will perish. I doubt anyone would approve of such a terrible thing. But even if we did keep this old world alive, it would eventually lose all its power. The world must first die, for it to be born again. And I alone will carry the burden of its sin. As for regrets, I have none. What okay. matters is that fate reached out and led you here. So you're gonna wipe out the entire world apart from this one hospital to just reset things? And it's definitely her doing it? Interesting. It seemed like she'd made a deal with the guy down below. And the guy down below seemed like he could control demons. So I'm wondering what she can do. And it is your fate to live through the conception. It may actually be more painful than death. Oh, well, thank you for that. But I believe in you. Please. Come find me when it's done. No matter how the world changes, I'll be your pillar of strength. It is my duty as the Maiden to take part in shaping the new world. Meaning I can show you a better way to live. I know it must be difficult for you to understand. But we're out of time. Listen. If you can find me on your own, I promise to tell you everything. The answers to all your questions, and what my intentions really are. Oh. So you're lying to us is what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> well, this cutscene did not get remastered, I guess. It's still pretty cool. Oh, that's what they meant by the world becoming round. Go forth and 
discover yourself. <laughs> what will be the legacy of your existence? It's such a vague thing that he's asked us to do. Go forth and discover yourself. It's like, you know, I'm just going to go backpacking in, uh, upside down Australia because everything, you know, because everything's now curved in. Although it's just Tokyo by the looks of it, which is a little odd. No? Well, that's just fading out. I'm guessing we're going to fade into... Uh... Oh, this wasn't what I thought we were going to do. Do not be afraid. My little master has taken an interest in you. Pitiful human though you are, he wishes to grant you a gift. Uh-huh. It is vital that you receive it, and I'm afraid you have no choice. Please try not to struggle. It will only hurt for an instant. Uh, no. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not get your gift now that I've seen what it is. That looks horrific. Enjoy your last moments as a human. Ugh. Okay, we're just getting tossed from person to person to mystical things to us. Magatama is the essence of demonic power. With it, you have joined the ranks of demons. My little master is always watching, so please try not to bore him. You obtained the Magatama Maru Marugahe. Maruge? So, Marugare. The Magatama Magagara. I don't know what that is. From the command menu, you can view an ingest Magatama? What's the command menu? Oh! I see. We have a UI. And the camera's changed. Oh, we have a proper UI. So what's Magatama? So that we've got this thing, which gives us strength, magic, vitality, agility, and luck. Normal resistances and imparts physical skills. Oh, okay. So do we, like, we equip these to give ourselves skills? Interesting. Interesting. We've already ingested it, but when you ingest it, it will give you, like, these buffs plus a skill. Interesting. Party? Summon? Return to... Don't need to worry about that. Skills? Uh, don't need to worry about that. Items. Key items. We have an ID card. Gems? Nothing. Use. Alright, so we have one Soma. I recognize this one. Full HP and MP recovery. Uh, okay. Stats? Again, it's just the same screen. And then system is the system menu. Cool. Uh, interestingly, you can load at any point, but it doesn't appear like there is a save. Okay, so there must be save points somewhere. We also have... Oh, we had full of something, but now we have seven of eight, so it's running out. Whatever we had in the top left. Okay. Sinjuku Medical Center. Well, that's where I thought we were. What are you staring at me for? Am I that peculiar? You're the demon here. Well, if you're gonna walk around the hospital, let me warn you. You've chosen a harsh path. 
From this point forward, enemies will hound you wherever you set foot. Never forget your fate. Okay, and our thing went down to six of eight. Whatever that was. Door is still locked here. Okay. Well, let's jog along this way and see what else we got. You can hear something from inside the room. Um, hello. Who's there? Oh, it's him. <gasps> Wait. Aren't you that kid I met at the park? What in God's name happened to you? I became a demon. I've gained new power. Huh. Yeah. Looking like that? I believe it. That aside, you know what the hell's going on here? I, I think the hell is pretty much the description of what's going on here. Last thing I remember, I was blinded by a bright light. After that, I was in this room. From the look of it, we're in some sort of hospital. Seeing as you're here too, I take it this is Shinjuku Medical Center? Well, first things first. As much as I want to know what's going on out there, it's not exactly safe to walk around. Have you come across any of them yet? Any of what? Well, they're definitely not human. My guess is that they're demons. My strange experience, your new look, and these weird creatures. Something tells me calling the cops won't do us any good. But damn, if my hunch is right, there's an actual explanation for all this. Though I'd rather not believe it. This is Shinjuku Medical Center, I can't just rule it out. The conception may have occurred for real. You know, I've seen a barrel like this before. If I remember right, it belonged to a man named Hikawa. Yep, still belongs to him. He's got to be behind this somehow. Just standing here talking won't do us any good. Listen, if you're strong enough to fight, could you gather some information while you're at it? I tried talking to what looked like a ghost, but I didn't have much luck. What's happened to the world? And is there anyone else out there? We can only find the answers by finding other people. I wish I could do it myself, but... I doubt I'd last long against a demon. Besides, I imagine studying this thing has its own merits. So for now, I leave it to you. Okay. Oh, and we can save here. Cool. Uh, well, let's do a save, because we haven't had one yet. This seems like a good place. Okay, so we have to come back here to save. Useful information. Uh, I'm also just checking what else we got there. So it appears to have our symbol that we have on. Uh, the one that we ingested. That's intriguing. Okay. What? A maladrum initialized? Oh, okay. So that is how we save. Got it. Don't bother worrying about me. I know I'd only slow you down if I tagged along. Hey, I don't plan on dying here, you know. I figure I can make myself useful by studying this thing. Now get going. Okay. Well, I'll first go a little things bit first, further. Try and make it outside. Alive. Right. So, which way are we going? Uh, that's the way we came from, so let's head this way. We're at five of six. Oh, so five of eight I don't knows in the top left. We're now at half. Interesting it says half instead of like, you know, four of eight. What would a doom demon like you want with me? I'll heal your wounds, so please don't decide to eat me. The soul healed you. I'll heal your wounds any time, so don't eat me, please. Oh, okay. Well, that's useful to know. We're not yet hurt, but we can always come back there. So that's there, so let's head this way. Hello. Who are you? Yet another demon after Magasuhi. 
I... Do you have anything else to say? No? Okay. So there's maybe another person for us to ingest around here, maybe? Okay. Weird. You can feel extraordinary power from beyond the door. Will you open it? Oh, of course, yeah. All right. You find yourself in a strange place. Well, what's going on here? Hello. A voice echoes in your head. Come. So that's the young child who's now become an old man. Show me the strength of a demon. The old man and the woman disappeared. We're at two of eight, one of eight. I don't know what it is in the top left, but we're, we're running out of it. You see a cash cube, will you open it? Yes. You obtained medicine too. All right, good to know. Hello, Will-O-Wisp. I want eat. Hey, eat. Uh, that seems bad. Player turn. So we can pass, skip action at half a turn cost. Interesting. Or attack. Well, let's just attack. Enemy turn. Magatsui. Okay. I think we're about to get destroyed here. Hey, never mind, we crit. And because we crit, we get another turn. Similar to a Persona bit combat there. We're hit. We're hitting back. We got him. We got 10 experience. We got 30 H lines. And we leveled up. You leveled up. Please customize your stats. Um, I don't know what they do <laughs> right now. I'm going to put a point into vitality because I know what that does. But I will look up the rest before we uh, get to the next thing. Oh, someone's uh, so Marogahe, or Marogahe, has begun to act violently within you. Let it continue. Yeah, why not? A warm light engulfs the area. You fully recovered. Nice. That sounds good, right? So we're full health again. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Hello. By my master's orders, I'll treat your wounds. Oh, so I would have healed anyway. So now it's a new in the top left. Oh, is that like a moon cycle then? Oh, so when it was full, it was full moon? Okay. Do I know what that means? Not at all, but maybe it's useful in combat at some point. Oh, I can talk. Hello. Demon is ready for action. It's just gonna attack me. Uh, big crit for 24. They hit me for 16. Um. Am I dead? Uh, heal? Okay. I dodged that one, that's good. Uh, I guess we'll just attack. That's bad. Okay. I don't know how much, I don't know how much health it has at all. Do it again. Are we dead? We're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we can respawn. Achievement unlocked. Rest in peace. Well, I guess we're dead dead, huh? The comfort of death will come for men and demons alike. By the guidance of the great will... Oh, it, it, it kicks you out to the main menu as well. Perfect, perfect. So then you have to load, so then you go load game and you can load back up to where you were. Cool. Right, and then it just kicks you back out there. 
Uh, I'm also guessing there is absolutely no concept of autosave in this game. Well, that's good to know. Well, thank you for watching. This being the first episode of the series, I'm going to ask you to do all of the YouTube-y things. Liking, subscribing, commenting, all of that sort of stuff helps the series get a good boost at the start, which helps the algorithm, which means more people will see it. And generally, it'll help the channel uh, overall. But yeah, I'm excited to get more into this. Uh, I will look up what the stats do uh, off camera. And I'm going to do some audio adjustments as well because I could tell that the uh, movie audio was way louder than the rest of it. And I'll do the adjustments in post for this episode. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.